What up? It's your boy, Cardboard Moses. I'm back at it again. Here to do uh, yet another break for you eBay folks. We got 2019 score football, three box break, number seven. All right, cool. It's a little dark. It's a little dark. Let there be light. And uh, let's get this thing started. Let me get my checklist pulled up. You know, I'm also going to put it in the chat. If anybody wants the, the checklist, there it is. We use group break checklist uh, to determine where these players are going to go as far as teams. Not yet, Aaron. Not yet. We did rip six cases yesterday. Lots of nice stuff. A couple 101s. But no bat knobs yet or bat barrels. Still awaiting that. We have, I think we have six more cases in the store. And we also have these one box random divisions, which are super cheap. If you don't get a hit, you could get a spot in the next break of those uh, one box breaks. So today will probably be more tier one action. Here's the first box. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. We have one more break of this tomorrow, and then we're done with score football. I have yet to see a buyback autograph. Kind of disappointed about that. Hopefully, we can pull one today. Aaron Jones to 35 Packers. Here are the uh, inserts. I am ready for some fool's ball. Got Brock Osweiler to 50 Dolphins. I just uh, got an update on my phone uh, that the Seahawks released Cam Chancellor and Doug Baldwin. But I also heard Doug Baldwin might be uh, retiring due to an injury or something like that. But, uh, you know, them releasing Cam Chancellor is a kind of a big deal. One of the better safeties in the league. Someone's going to pick him up real quick. Well, here's a buyback. Joey Browner, Vikings. We have Ersmith Jr., SP. Is he officially out for game six and seven? I know he, uh, what was it? He had a right calf strain or something like that. People were fearing the worst, thinking it was, uh, an Achilles injury or something like that, which I feel like have been happening a lot lately. A lot of basketball players getting that uh, that Achilles injury. I st I feel like the Warriors are still good enough without Kevin Durant to win a championship. Kevin Durant makes them unbeatable, but let's not forget that team basically you know was really good before he got there. You know, they did win 73 games that one season. They didn't win a championship, but, you know, still a really good team. Anthony Johnson, SP. I wonder how how long is he going to be out with that calf strain? DeAndre Walker to 35 autograph. 
No problem, Blob. Did you get anything nice? I hope so. I don't know, Aaron. I don't know. Maybe James Harden awakens now that uh, Durant ain't there no more. Eh, at least it's something, Blob, you know. Travis Homer with the autograph. Miami boys. Can't wait for college football to start. I'm hoping the uh, the Hurricanes can get back to that little bit of magic we had a couple seasons ago where we took the nation by storm with the turnover chain. I wonder if they'll bring it back this year. Probably not. David Montgomery to 35, but everybody copied us with the turnover chain. Just goes to show you. Quinn and Williams, SP. I don't think that, uh, well, we shall see. I mean, he, he's definitely not coming back for this series against the Rockets. May He might be able to come back against the, you know, in, in the finals maybe. Especially if they advance to the conference final. And the conference finals go seven games. You know, he'll have that extra amount of time to heal up. Jimbo, what up? Crabtree to 30 Ravens. It just sucks when, you know, players get hurt, especially in, you know, playoffs and big moments like that. AJ Brown SP. Man, everybody thinks the Warriors are done now, man. Shake my head. You know, they only have to win one game against the Rockets. Completely plausible. I don't think they're done. You know, Chris Paul has a has a history of coming up short in big games. So does Harden. Both of them need to play good to beat this, the Warriors team. It should be fun. It just sucks that Durant got hurt. Never like to see someone get hurt. I'm dude, I'm pulling for the Blazers. I'm not gonna lie. Even with Durant on the Warriors, I'm pulling for the Blazers. Blazers got an elimination game tonight though. Deontay Thompson autograph. Oh, yeah, Kyrie Irving. I mean, are, are, are people finally starting to realize what I've been saying for the longest time? Kyrie Irving, overrated. You know, hopefully people are, start, are starting to listen to the old Cardboard Moses. I know my basketball, man. Kyrie Irving's just not a winner, and he's not a leader. Yo, Raren, that is the finals that I that I that I that I predicted. And that's the finals that I would like to see. I don't think either team has won a championship, so that would be awesome to see. Blazers and Raptors in the finals. Clellan Farrell SP. You know, for true basketball fans, that would be a great series. But not exactly a, a sexy matchup going from Toronto to Portland. You know, I don't know how that would do as far as the TV ratings. And you know how the NBA loves that. But the, I don't know, man. The Bucks are looking real good. We shall see, Jimbo. You know, I, I, it's not like I, I never have anything planned out. I always wing it, baby. You know how I do. Dwayne Haskins, SP. I wouldn't say well Westbrook Westbrook's problem is that he just he just he does too much. Kyrie Irving doesn't do enough. You know what I mean? 
I wouldn't call well Westbrook is overrated as far as like a leader, kind of like Kyrie. But if you ask me, who would I rather have on my team? I would rather have Westbrook all day, every day. Darrell Henderson autograph, because because the, the the thing with Westbrook is he's gonna give you a hundred percent every single time, and he can do other things to affect the game. You know, he might have a bad shooting night, but he's still going to get you 10 assists, 10 rebounds, you know, triple-double machine. Kyrie, the ball sticks with that guy, man. He's an ISO player. You know, once, I think Westbrook, I think the problem with Westbrook is he just, he doesn't have a coach to, like, really tell him what's up. Westbrook needs to move to the two, get the ball out of his hands, learn to play off the ball, and that team will be championship material. Put De you know, have Dennis Schroeder start at point guard. Move Russell Westbrook to the two, because that's really his position. Get the ball out of his hands, and really, somebody needs to tell him, like, listen, man, slow down. I don't need you going 100 miles an hour all the time. Slow down. That's always been his problem. He just he doesn't have he he doesn't know how to switch gears. I call it switching gears. You know. He needs to learn when to go 100 miles an hour. He needs he needs to to learn you know how to pace the game and and it just his his basketball IQ is not where I would like it to be, especially for my point guard, which is why I say move him to the two, move him to the two. Now this is a fact though, JMS. That that that's true for any sport though, for for any anything like that. You know the purists. They're going to enjoy it regardless, but for the masses, of course, they want to see the sexy names. LeBron, Durant, Curry, Harden, blah, blah, blah. But for me, dude, I would rather watch Portland and, and Raptors all day. That would be an awesome series, I think. Keith Jackson, Eagles, uh, bye back. But yeah, dude, I, lo I love basketball. It's my favorite sport. So I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. And kill Harry SP, dude. J uh, Jason is uh, Jimbo. We're back to the regularly scheduled program. Jason will be live tomorrow and Saturday. I think the Raptors Blazers series would be great. You know, think about it. It's it, we we're having a finals out of the country in Canada. You know, we're going to get Canada viewership, uh, which is in turn probably going to turn into more global viewership, which is going to be amazing for the NBA. And uh, in Portland, not for nothing, man, they have a superstar out there that nobody's talking about in Damian Lillard. Nuggets Raptors would be fun too, Aaron. Nuggets are playing incredible basketball right now. Julius Peppers, 8 of 10 there for the Panthers. Nuggets are playing great basketball. You know, I think this year the, the, the finals could go either way, especially since Durant is hurt. You know, if he were healthy, Raptors by a landslide. I mean, uh, Warriors by a landslide. But now that he's hurt, there's a little chink in that Warriors armor. Championship is up for grabs, man. All the remaining teams are great teams. So, should be fun to see how it plays out. Yeah, Durant's going to be out for a few weeks, man. Latavius Murray to 30 Vikings. Right here. Kevin Durant has, a, has like a mild calf sprain. That's going to keep him out anywhere from like two to three weeks. And that's and that's on the fast track. You know that's that's not an easy easy injury to come back from, especially as a basketball player. 
Yeah, and yeah, Houston has a chance. You know, they, they do have to win two games. They have to win a game on the road and at home. Uh, Warriors, on the other hand, just need to win one game. And people seem to forget that Kevin, Dur you know, that, that Steve Cur uh, Steph Curry was a former MVP in this league. They won champion, you know, they won a championship without KD. So I, I think the Rockets uh, should not take the Rockets should not take the Warriors lightly, because this means more touches for Curry and more touches for Klay Thompson. DK Metcalf SP right here. That is real. Is real. Aaron is real. It's true. These dudes are out here playing a sport, man. Making millions of dollars. What pressure do they have? Like, aside from listening to, you know, people like Skip Bayless and whatnot criticize them on a daily basis. But besides that, pff, those boys are living the dream, man. Uh, Alex Barnes to 50 right here. I've Dude, I've said it for a while. Lillard is my favorite player in the NBA. You know, I'm I'm happy that he's uh, getting a little shine, but uh, you know, I, I really want to see Lillard in the finals. <laughs> that kid is special, man. That kid is special. I think Metcalf went to the Seahawks, right? Yeah. They must really like him if they dropped uh, Doug Baldwin, which they did earlier today. But I think he's I think he's retiring. I don't know. Ed Oliver SP, Antoine Wesley Auto, dude. Lakers are a hot mess right now. They couldn't even sign Ty Lue. And Ty Lue is not a great coach. You know, it would not surprise me if LeBron asked for a trade. Like, you know, I said it last night. I don't think I don't think LeBron's going to win another championship. At least not with the Lakers. I don't think he's going to win a single championship with the Lakers. That was a really bad move going out there. So, uh, if I were LeBron, dude, I'm asking for a trade. Jordy Nelson of 50 Raiders. You know, they can't even get their coach right. Magic Johnson just quit. Like, that's, you know, huge red flags. So, if I'm LeBron, I'm trying to get out of town. I'm trying to get out of Dodge. I'm trying to get out of there. Terry McLaurin to 35. That's the problem, though, Michael. Anthony Davis, they, they threw the house at the Pelicans trying to get Anthony Davis last year. It didn't work last year. It's not going to work this year. You know, he's still under contract for another season. So that's another year of LeBron that you're, that, that you're just throwing to, to, to waste. Because with that team right now, they're not making the playoffs. They didn't make the playoffs this past season. Yeah, sure, LeBron got hurt for a little while. But you would think that, you know, they would have enough talent to, you know, at least stay above 500 and stay in the playoff race. But no, they didn't. You know, Kuzma, not a great shooter, but he can score. But he's not a great shooter. Lonzo Ball is not a shooter, period. They don't have anybody on that team, you know, that can shoot the three, you know, at, at a decent enough rate that you have to defend them. So, I don't know. I, I, I knew it was going to be a bad move. I predicted they weren't going to make the playoffs. And I'm predicting now that LeBron is going to make it, is going to re request the trade. I really honestly think he's going to request the trade. That dude has enough money to, like, last his family several generations. I, I don't think money is an issue at this point in his career. He, he really just wants to win, I think. Uh, you know, he also went to the Lakers for other reasons, Hollywood, etc. But uh, you know, with this entire shit show that's been going on over the last year and a half or whatnot, or whatever with the Lakers, I think it would behoove LeBron to get the fuck out of there. 
Right, uh, Chauncey Gardner Johnson with the autograph right there. Dude, if Kyrie, if Kyrie was to rejoin LeBron, that would be hilarious. So you mean to tell me, Kyrie, that you left LeBron because you wanted to have your own team, then you figured out that you don't have what it takes to be a leader, so now you're going to go back to the dude you left high and dry? Well, uh, he didn't really leave him high and dry, but anyways. Oh, that is nice. Dwayne Haskins autograph. Whoever got the Redskins, there you go. That is a very hard pull. Very nice hit right there. I uh, hope uh, Dwayne Haskins balls out for the Redskins. The Giants had a chance to draft them. And uh, we all know how that turned out. The Lakers aren't what the Lakers used to be back in the back in the back in the day, man. You know, this isn't your daddy's Lakers team. You know, this Lakers team now, ever since uh Dr. Buss passed away, the team has not made the playoffs. Since 2013, the Lakers have not made the playoffs. If you're such a great franchise, that's unacceptable. Drew Locke SP right there. Just, I mean, to give you an example, the Miami Heat, my team, we've been in the league since 88, and I think we've missed the playoffs like maybe a handful of times. And we're talking about the Miami Heat, not the, not the Los Angeles Lakers. One of the most storied franchises in all of sports. And you mean to tell me you can't make the playoffs with Kobe or with LeBron? Granted, Kobe was, you know, on his way out, but still? Yeah, and they made dumbass decisions paying, you know, giving Kobe a max contract, you know, as a, as a, as a thank you, I guess. You know, that shot him in the foot. Uh, Lakers got some work to do. Lakers got some work to do. Yeah, his kids don't know how to run that team. You know, either hire somebody competent that knows what they're doing or sell the team. Because it's, it's clear they don't know what they're doing. You know, they need to get Jerry West back in there, man. Look what Jerry West is doing with the Clippers. You know, that team did not have a single superstar. And they had a really good record. They've been the best team in LA since Jerry West signed, uh, you know, signed with them as uh, I, I think he runs basketball operations for for the Clippers. I don't know, man. Lakers got some work to do, a lot of work to do, and I and I, I honestly, really, truly believe they they should trade LeBron. Cause look, let's be honest. LeBron is, how old is LeBron? How, how many years is LeBron truly going to play? I give him five years. Five more seasons, and I think he's going to retire. Okay? You're going to compromise your long run, you know, your, your long term success, you know, 10 years down the line, etc., for a potential chance at winning a championship? Like, not even like. Oh, dude, we got a squad. We got two, three superstars. We're bound to win a championship one of these years. No, they haven't even made the playoffs. They haven't even improved. So I think, you know, they have a nice young core with Kuzma, Lonzo. You know, they made a big mistake letting Julius Randle go. They should have kept him. Uh, you know, they got a nice little young core, and I think they should trade LeBron and get something while he's still, you know, Worth something. Greedy Williams with the SP. The problem is, JMS, the Lakers just don't have the funds, bro. Like, and, and, and they, they, they have, okay, I lied. They have money to afford, I believe, one or two more max contracts this upcoming offseason. But who is going to want to play with LeBron? 
Like, I feel like the league has gotten to a point now where they're like, okay, I don't want to join LeBron. I want to beat him. You know what I mean? At least that's my opinion. I, 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 I don't see anybody wanting to go to the Lakers to play with LeBron. I know that sounds crazy, but I think that's what it is. Tyron Smith to 30 Cowboys. LeBron's not a young pup anymore. This season, you know, was 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 the beginning of the decline, man. He got hurt. He he suffered his worst injury that he's ever had in his career. It, there is, you know, there's that's not a coincidence. You know, he's played so much basketball in the last 10 years. He, the dude's been to like eight straight NBA finals. It's going to take a toll on your body. Keenan Allen to 50 Chargers, so I don't know, man. I I really don't think anybody's gonna want to join LeBron in my in 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 LA. I think he's dug himself a hole, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how he tries to dig dig himself out of that. Here's our last buyback, Ray Childress. That's the Oilers back in the day, which are the Titans. I don't know, Aaron. I, I don't think so, dude. I really don't think so. I, I think it's a cop-out. You know, sure, he got hurt. Okay, whatever. I really, truly don't think they would have made the playoffs had he stayed healthy. But again, that's just me. Zion can't shoot the ball, so that's going to be a detriment to LeBron's game. Kyrie is just a terrible teammate, and this last season showed it. So I, I think Kyrie needs to go to a franchise that has nothing to lose and everything to gain. The Knicks would be perfect, honestly. They're probably the sorriest franchise in the league. They've been that way for a while now. They're the laughing stock of the NBA. You have nothing to lose, Kyrie. Go to the Knicks. That's what I think is going to happen. Will Greer, SP. I, I don't think to Durant is going to join him. Now, why would you leave a dynasty for anything else? Like, that just, if, if you're truly interested in winning, Durant is in the most optimal position to continue to win, you know, for the for, for the remainder of his career, honestly. Gardner Minshew with the auto here. Dude, good luck, Jimbo. Hope you get that thing fixed, man. LeBron needs shooters. And the only the only shooter that's really coming out this offseason is Clay Thompson. And I, I just, again, I, I don't see Clay Thompson leaving the situation he's in. Alex Barnes with the autograph. I think Clay Thompson and Steph Curry are going to be Warriors for life, Splash Brothers for life with the Warriors. I, I don't see them going anywhere. But we shall see, especially with the draft coming up. That's also what's cool about the, the NBA is the lottery. Like, even though you may have the worst record in the in the NBA when it's all said and done, you're not guaranteed the number one pick like in the NFL. I, I don't know how baseball does their, their drafting or, or whatever, but in the NBA, it's a lot. It's lottery. It's a lottery. You think Kawhi? All right, Aaron, let me ask you this. If the Raptors make it to the – if the Raptors make it to the finals – you still feel that way? Earth Smith Jr. to 50 here. I think if they make it to the finals, I think Kawhi stay in put, man. They got something special brewing out there. Especially with Spicy P, a, a budding superstar. Man. Hakeem Butler, SP right here.
you know, Anthony Davis is gonna be a is gonna be a, a year from now because he he I don't think the Pelicans are gonna trade him at least not to the Lakers like I, I don't know man that that franchise I don't know what the hell they're doing Devin Funches the twenty Panthers Noah Fant SP some franchises just want to get paid. You know, collect ticket sales, blah, blah, blah. You know, make a profit and just keep it moving. Pelicans are one of those franchises. They like they just are not serious about winning. If you're serious about winning, you're not going to trade a once-in-a-generation player like Anthony Davis. No matter what they offer you. You would surround them with players. And it's not, you know, New Orleans is a, is a, is a, is a great city. It's fun, lots of stuff to do. But we shall see. Kawhi to the Clippers, maybe? You know, I did that's another thing. Like I don't I don't see Kawhi, you know, wanting to play with LeBron. Dude, that dude's an alpha male. You know, him and LeBron had battles. And more often than not, Kawhi got the best of LeBron. So Kawhi, probably in his head, feels like he's better than LeBron. So I I, I don't think that partnership is going to come together. Amani Oruarige. I just, I, I don't get where, where people are getting this, that Durant is going to leave the world. Like, why would he leave that situation? Like, I just don't understand. Is if it is it is it about money? If it's money, okay, I get that. But it can't be about winning. He's already doing that. I mean, he's got a dynasty in the making with the Warriors. Why would he leave? What's what I'm what I'm really worried about is what the hell are the Heat gonna do? We got some good young pieces, but we don't have a true superstar. We need that. We need that. We need we need to get the Heatles back together, man. David Montgomery SP. Now, I wonder what Pat Riley's gonna pull out of his uh out of his pocket. Now, I hope he doesn't go after Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is just Terrible teammate. Terrible, terrible teammate. So, Aaron, here's my question. Here's my thing. I, I, I get that. You know, going to the Warriors, you know, a rival team where he, you know, they came really close to beating, you know, with him in, in the Thunder or whatnot. I get that. However... Let's say Durant plays another 10 years and he wins a championship seven of those 10 years. Do you really think anybody's going to care about that? No. They're going to be like, oh, dude, this, this dude has nine, 10 championships on his belt. This guy could be the GOAT right here. Damian Harris, SP. When it's all said and done, that's all people ever talk about. You know, nobody says, oh, dude, Robert Ory went from team to team to team. No. They talk about how many championships he's ha he has. When they talk about Jordan, they don't say anything about his, his wizard days. Dude was 6-for-6 six six in the finals. No offense, autograph there. That's probably going to be it. I, I think if, if that's the case and he's worried about his legacy, he's in the perfect situation. Continue winning because history remembers winners. You know, there's a saying that's, uh, I, I, I can't quote the saying verbatim, but it's something along the lines of, uh, you know, winners are the ones that write history. Champions write history, not losers. All right. So that's going to do it for the break. Uh, let's do a little recap here. We got a Funches to 20. Smith Jr. to 50. Allen. 
to 50, Smith to 30, McLaurin to 35, Nelson to 50, Murray to 30, Crabtree to 30, Montgomery to 35, Osweiler to 50, Jones to 35. We also got a Julius Peppers 8 of 10 Panthers. Ray Childress, that goes to Titans. Keith Jackson Eagles and Joey Browner Vikings. Now for our autographs. Let me get my post-it notes so I can write this down for my sorters. Alright, first we have Noah Fant. Noah Fant is a Bronco. Alright, there you go. Then we have Amani Oruawiye. Amani is a lion. I hear you, Aaron. I hear you. Alex Barnes with the auto. I think if Durant win, you know, ends up with like eight championships, that's what we're going to be talking about. And especially after this last postseason, can you really blame him for leaving? Like, let's be honest with our like, like let's truly be be real here. He was not going to win a championship with with Westbrook. Like that was not going to happen. This past postseason should be, you know, a big a big uh, red flag there. Gardner Minshew goes to the Jags. Chauncey Gardner Johnson. That is a Jet. We got Antoine Wesley. That is a Raven. Somebody's getting pulled over. That's a lot of coppers. Anyway, Alex Barnes to 50. I feel like I pulled that already. I did. Except this one's to 50. Alex Barnes goes to the Titans. Daryl Henderson. Is a Ram. Deontay Thompson. You know what the you know what the what it really boils down to, Aaron? Is that this is not the NBA that mean you grew up watching. Like it's really not. You know, back in the day, it wasn't about joining up and, you know, oh, I'm going to play with my best friend type of deal. That's that's the NBA we play in now. Everybody's friends with each other. Everybody wants to play with one another. That's just the nature of the beast, man. Thompson goes to the Cardinals. Travis Homer, I believe, is a Seahawk. Oh, dumbass. Homer is a Seahawk. We got DeAndre Walker. That is 10 of 35. That is a Titan. Dang, JMS. Well, we're about to start the uh, Tier 1 action here in a bit. And last but not least, Dwayne Haskins. It's not numbered, but it is an autograph. That goes to the Redskins. It should be going to the Giants, but we all know what happened there. And there you go. That's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it out to you.